because the Lord knows he needs strength. <coughs> the Lord's got a reason for it, amen? A problem that the church has today is we don't wait. We don't wait on the Lord. I woke up Sunday morning about 2 o'clock. <clears throat> not, not troubled, not bothered. But the Lord spoke to me. He said, my people don't wait on me. Yeah. We're in such a hurry that we don't wait on the Lord. Amen. We grieve His Spirit by not waiting on Him. How many knows the words says, quench not the Spirit? Yeah. Amen. We come in, praise God. I'm not talking about here. I'm just talking about just in the churches. We come in because it's organized and structured. We know we come in at a starting time and we got to do this and do that. And I really felt the Lord impressed in my spirit. And I'm going to hit on that just a little bit tonight. I won't hold you long. But I really want to share this word that the Lord showed me. Oh. Go with me to Isaiah chapter 40 tonight. We have grieved His Spirit by not waiting on Him. Come on. We <clears throat> rush the Lord. Yeah. And then we expect the Lord to give us our healing. Come on. We expect the Lord to save those that we pray for, but we don't wait on the Lord. Yeah. I think about that woman with the issue of blood, and we was talking about that coming up here tonight. She believed that she could just touch the hem of his garment. She would Come be made whole, Brother Billy. Yeah. She waited. For him to come by. Amen. You know, in her, she had had spent money. She had went to this person and that person. She couldn't find the answer to her problem to fix it. Come on. And she got down to the last resort. And I don't know why people make Jesus the last resort. I don't know why Jesus has got to be the last person you go to when you're going through something. Come on. He should be the first. I mean, we as the believers, He should be the first. Come on. And I'm not knocking people to take medication because sometimes you have to. But I'm telling you though, I really think a lot of the times we sin against God by putting that medication first. Come on. I mean, when we got a headache, the first thing we do is get a Tylenol. Amen? Come on. We don't say, Lord... Take this headache from me. Yeah. How many believes God can do what He says He can do? Come on, amen. The woman with the issue of blood got down to, she said, if I could just touch but the hem, yeah. the hem of His garment. Come on. She didn't say if He would just lay hands on Come me on, yeah. or He would anoint me with a special oil. She said, if I could just touch the hem of His garment, yeah. I'll be made whole. Amen. But she waited. That's the key. Waiting. Come on. The Lord showed me we don't wait on Him. We push Him. Lord, yeah. we got to hurry up and move on as quickly so we can get out at an Come early on. time. Yeah. i got to be to bed early so I can get up to work early. Come Forget on. all that. Come on. Our minds should be focused on Jesus and Amen. Him only when we assemble ourselves together. Amen? Yeah. We don't wait. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 40, beginning of verse 27. We're going to read down to verse 31 in the name of Jesus. When you have it, say Amen. Amen. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? Hast thou not known? Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God the Lord, the Creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. Oh, go over to God. Come on. How many knows He's not fainting and He's not weary? Amen. God is still God. Amen. Come on. 
There is no searching of His understanding. He giveth power to the faint. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. How many ever been faint before? Amen. Hallelujah. It says, He giveth power to the faint. Come on. And to them that have no might, He increases strength. Amen. If you're weak tonight, He'll give you strength. I like that verse where it says, Brother Billy, Come when on. I'm weak, He is strong. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall, excuse me, utterly fall. Come on. But listen to verse 31. This yeah. is it right here. Let's all read it together. Amen? Amen. But if they that wait, that wait Come on. upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Can, can we read that again? But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Hallelujah to God. They shall run. Come on now. They shall run and what? Not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Oh, hallelujah. Did you get that, church? Come on now. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. you got to wait on Jesus. Amen to God. If you want your strength renewed, you need to wait. Come on. Praise God. If you feel him faint, praise God, you need to wait yeah. so he can strengthen you up. Come on now. Hallelujah. I tell you, it's time involved in this. When you get into in the natural, if you get into an accident, yeah. you gotta have time to heal. Come on. If you break an arm, it takes time to heal, amen? Yeah. In the spirit, it takes time. Come on. It takes time for God to do His work in you. Come on. It takes time for God to move and to heal you. Heal your hurts. Amen. But you've got to wait on the Lord. Amen? Amen. They that wait upon the Lord. Are you one tonight who wants to wait upon the Lord? Come Amen? On. Come on. If you want to be that one, just say, I want to wait upon the Lord. Oh, I want to wait on the Lord. Because when you wait upon Him... Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Jesus is going to renew you. Renew your strength. You say, Brother Mike, I don't understand. You've been praying for that miracle so long. But if you wait, if you wait on the Lord, praise God, He's going to renew your strength. Brother Mike, my husband, he just beats me. He's this to me. If you wait upon the Lord, stand upon His Word, praise God, the Lord will renew your strength. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Brother Mike, hallelujah. My parents don't understand me. They come in against me because I love Jesus. If you wait on the Lord, amen to God, he will renew your strength, praise oh, God. What are you hallelujah. saying, Brother Mike? I'm telling you tonight, you got to wait on Jesus, praise God. Because when He passes by, like that woman with the issue of blood, amen to God, you got to reach out, amen to God, and just touch the hem of His garments. Oh, See, it wasn't so much touching, it was her faith. Come on. Not in His garments, oh, but praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. She got a revelation, praise God, Brother Billy. Oh, Hallelujah. That the Word, praise God, the Word was in motion, oh, glory to God. And when that Word, that spoken Word, is in your life, amen to God, things will happen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But you've got to wait. Yeah. <clears throat> so I want to use for a subject tonight, it's going to be kind of comical. But you're going to understand it in a minute. And I'll explain myself. Do you have a weight problem? Come on. I don't mean body weight. Yeah. Let me fix that because somebody's going to get mad. Yeah. A W-A-I-T problem. Come on. We need a weight problem. Amen? Yeah. Lord, let me have a weight problem. I want to be able to wait. Hallelujah. I want to come in. Praise God. Not worry about, praise God, if we're going to sing this song or that song or preach this song or that. I want to come in and wait. I want to wait on God to move. Amen to God. Amen. I want to come in and not leave, praise God, till I've been supernaturally touched by the Lord. Amen. That's what we need. Praise God. I've noticed every time, every service here, praise God, on the Tuesdays, and I'm sure on Sunday mornings as well, but praise God, they are getting more and more deeper in the Lord. 
more deeper in worship, praise God, to where it doesn't take so long to get the Spirit to move. Amen. All we got to do is seek Him out. He says, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. Him that seeketh, findeth. Him that knocketh, the door is openeth. Amen. That's what we need to do. But we got to wait though. Yeah. We gotta wait on him. Father in Jesus' name, thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for your word that it will not return void, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, help us to wait upon you, Lord God. To be still and know that you are God. Hallelujah. Forgive us, Lord, where we have rushed you, where we've quenched your spirit. Forgive us, Lord, where we've tried to get ahead of you. Put the cart before the horse, Lord, so to speak. Forgive us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to wait upon You. To wait for Your timing, dear God. To wait for Your season, Lord God. Because it's all done by You, Lord. Help us, Lord God, to be more sensitive to the things of the Spirit, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Wait on the Lord, Amen. Do you have a weight problem? Some people in the natural do have a weight problem. Yeah. Natural weight. Oh, yeah. But we need a weight problem in the Spirit. Come on. We need to wait on Jesus. Amen? Is that alright? Amen. The Hebrew word for wait in Isaiah 40.31, listen to this. I thought this was powerful. That's why I'm bringing it out. It says, to bind together, maybe by twisting, to expect gather together to look patiently, to tarry upon, to ponder. I'm on. I like the word tarry. Yeah. It, it makes me go back to the day of Pentecost. Amen. Where they gathered together in an upper room. Oh. Come on, y'all know where I'm going with this. Amen. Oh. They, they, they had a weight problem. Amen to God. Come on now. Because they gathered together waiting for the promise of the Father. Amen? Come on. They come together with no, no agendas. No who could outperform who. No whose clothes was better than whose. Come on. They didn't come with who looked better than who. Yeah. Who sounded better. Who smelled better. Come on. All they come for <clears throat> was to wait on the promise oh, from the oh, Father. They had a wait problem. Oh, they were waiting until it came. He said, I will send the Comforter. He didn't say when. Come he on. said, but I will send the Comforter. Yeah. And when they gathered in that upper room, I'm sure they were gathering days before. But something about this day, and I'll tell you what it was, when they got in one mind Come and on. one accord. Come on now. See, that's the key right there, church. Hallelujah. We need to get in one mind. Our minds on Jesus. Amen. Come on. In one accord where we're all on the same page here. Where we're not fighting about a denomination. Come fighting on. about how big somebody's church is. Yeah. If we can steal their members or they steal ours. It should not matter. Come they on. had the whole purpose in mind was to get the promise from the Father Whoa. which was the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And we wonder why our nation, and well, not the nation, but the church today is in the shape it's in. We oh. wonder why we're not seeing signs, wonders, and miracles. We wonder, you know, they're supposed to be following us, amen? They're supposed to be following the believers, the yeah. signs, wonders, Come and on. miracles. I mean, I, I, I'm looking, amen, to God. I want signs and wonders and miracles to follow me. Come not on. for me to be something, but to know, praise God, that what Jesus oh, said oh, will be done, amen. Hallelujah. They're supposed to be following us, following me, following you, following those out there listening or watching, amen, to God. They are supposed to be following us. Yeah. We have been given the same power. His Spirit, amen, the Spirit of Christ. That's in us. Yeah. We can lay hands on the sick and they recover. How many believes that? Come on. Amen. How many believes we can lay hands on a demon possessed person and rebuke that thing and cast it back to the pits of hell? Oh, Amen. Oh, hallelujah. But we've got so modernized, we've got reform today. We don't want to wait. 
I've said this before, but it's worth mentioning it again. It's a Burger King society. Yeah. We want it our way. We want to drive up. Yeah. Give me this. Give me that, Lord. Yeah. I need a healing right now, but I don't want to put forth no effort. I don't want to search for you or seek Come you on. out. I just want my healing. You better give it to me. I name it, claim it. Come on. It don't work that way. You take the Word of God and you stand upon it. But Come God on. ain't no genie. You don't... Give me three wishes, God. We've got that all mixed up, messed up. Yeah. There is a time that has to go through. You have to go through a process, amen. Come on. Now, I'm not saying God can't do it right then and there because He can. But a lot of the times, though, we hinder our own miracle. We Come hinder on. our own blessing, amen. How many amen. agree with that, amen? Yeah. Amen. Because we don't wait. But if you wait upon the Lord, He'll renew you. Amen. That ought to get you excited to look at your neighbor and say, I know you're weary. Amen you're weary. to God, but He's going to restore you. Amen. Restore you. Hallelujah. I may have spit and made somebody laugh. Praise Come God. No. Y'all forgive me if I did. Praise God. I get in a bad habit of that. Hallelujah. So what does it mean to wait upon the Lord? That's the million dollar question right here. Amen. How many wants a weight problem tonight? Come on. You say, Brother Mike, you're speaking negativity over this crowd. I want a weight problem, amen? I know y'all can look at me and tell. Hallelujah. I want to wait more on Jesus. W-A-I-T, not W-E-I-G-H-T, before I get in trouble. To wait upon the Lord means to put your trust, your 100% confidence in Him, amen? Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not on thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge Him. Yeah. Do you do that? In all your ways, do you acknowledge the Lord? Come on. Because He says if you do, He shall direct thy path. Come on. Sounds like, amen to God, you lead, I'll follow. Amen? Amen. Praise God. you got to put your trust in it. Psalm 37, verses 3 through 5 says, Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and He shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Amen. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. He said, Commit... And trust. Come on. Sounds like a win-win situation, amen? Amen. All you got to do is trust. How many remembers when you was a little kid? Because we got some young folks in here, amen? We don't have anybody here past 40. Amen? Come on now. <laughs> but how many remember, though, you knew if mom and daddy said they were going to get it, they were going to get it, amen? Yeah. You could bank on it. Hallelujah. Or nowadays, if they throw a fit, they know they're going to get it because they throw a fit because mom and daddy wants them to shut up. Yeah. Because they're tired of hearing them yell. Amen. Well, I'm getting off on this. Well, really, all they need to do is wear their hind end out. Praise God. That would straighten it up. But anyway, now I'm not going to go down that. That's another message. But if we, 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 hallelujah. Sounds like I'm going to go in tongues there. <laughs> hallelujah, God. If we just trust Him and take Him at His word, amen. Amen. It's all right. Everybody messes up, amen. Come on. That's what He wants you to do. Trust Him. Wait on Him. Look at your neighbor and say, i got a weight problem. <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, this is good. I'm, I'm, I Hallelujah. The Lord gave me this title, amen to God. I know it was. Hallelujah. To wait upon the Lord means to have faith in Him. Mark 11, 22-24 says, And Jesus answered and saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, whatso, what things soever ye desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and ye shall have them. Amen? Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. We've got to wait though. 
Amen. I believe we can expect and believe to receive it, but we got to wait on Him. Because it's in His time and anyway, He ain't going to move when we tell Him to. Uh -huh. He's God and we're not. Amen. That's the problem of the creation thinks they're God and He's supposed to do what they say. Jump when I say jump, God. Come on. It don't work that way. You do what He tells you, amen. Amen. That's why people's not in the will of God today. They're not obedient to the voice of the Lord, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so tired of seeing believers today whine and complain, God don't move for me. Yeah, because you don't take the time with Him. I'm all. You expect God to move for you, but you won't even pray for 10 seconds. Yeah. I mean, to see some of these things happen, we got to pray. Come on. And, and I'm going to say the F word, fast. Yeah. Uh oh. Come on. You don't hear that preached anymore. Amen. Boy, if somebody, if Brother Billy said we need to fast and pray for somebody, Brother, I can't do it. My, my diabetes says i got to eat. Come on. Oh, I tell you, if I don't eat, I'll pass out and die. Amen to God. Well, maybe you need to die. Amen to God. Die to this old flesh, praise God, and let the Spirit raise you back up. Come on. Come on now. That's why we're not seeing things happen. Well, Brother Mike, I want to do what the great saints of old did. Amen to God. I want to go and do this. I want to go preach to the thousands and, and give an altar call and a million people come. Well, if you even want to get one person to come, you need to pray. You need to wait on God. On. You need to be filled with the Spirit. Amen to God. Amen. Can't wait on nothing, but you'll wait, praise God, to watch some reality TV shows on TV. Amen. Come on. You'll wait, praise God. You'll wait all day long. You'll get on Facebook all day long before you know if the day's gone. Yeah. You don't have a problem waiting on that or waiting on your order, praise God, or waiting on something in the mail. But if it comes to waiting on God, I ain't got time. Come on. That's our problem. That's why we're seeing the election going the way it's going today. God forbid we got a uh, we got a, a, a president now, Obama. I ain't trying to be mean, but he's really just a Muslim. Just trying to cover up. He goes for the homosexuals. And now he's against them. He's for them. He's against them. He's for them. He's against them. And we got Mitt Romney, I tell you. I, you know, he's halfway decent. He's a Mormon. I, I just don't know. You know, I believe with all my heart that if the church was in right with God today, we could pray somebody, a believer in the White House, praise God, who would not be a Mormon, who would not be, hallelujah, Muslim, who would not be a this day, would be an on fire, Holy Ghost filled Christian under the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh. I believe that with every fiber of my being, but the church has let back and let go. Come on. We just act like we don't care. Yeah. And we're going to give an account for that because we're responsible. It's your place and my place to vote. It's yeah. our place to pray. Do we pray for our leaders? Do we? Come on. I try to. I'm not going to say I do it all the time. I try. The Lord knows my heart. I, I you know, it's just it's I'd rather be honest with you than lie about it. I'll be honest, I don't I don't really care about either one of them. I really wish we had better. Come on. But that's all we've got that's running. Yeah. Amen. Come on. What the church needs to do is get down, fast and pray, and wait on God. Or what he says in what? Second Chronicles 7 14. If yeah. my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. Did you hear that? Humble yourselves and pray yeah. and seek His face. Come on. And repent. Oh God, we don't want to hear that word. We yeah. need to repent. We all do, praise God, in certain areas of our lives. Just because we haven't done some great sin, amen to God, we've missed the mark. We need to get down and wait upon God. Come on. Amen? Yeah. Y'all don't leave me now. Don't lose me, praise God. It's tough preaching, but it's true. Amen? Yeah. To wait upon the Lord means to call upon Him in prayer. Jeremiah 33, 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. Amen? Come on. One guy said the other day, he said, I'm ignorant. Somebody told him, well, I ask God for sins. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that's, you know, we laugh about it, but it's true. If you're ignorant, ask God for wisdom. He'll give it to you if you ask Him. Amen. 
I like this one right here. To wait upon the Lord means to serve the Lord with gladness. Woo! Mm. Amen. Thank you, Brother Billy. Yeah. <laughs> serve the Lord with gladness. Amen. The church today has become, instead of the happy bunch, we become like this. Come on. Miserable. It's bad when you see a, a quote, spirit filled believer who's walking around like this all the time. Come on. Woe is me. Like Chicken Little, the sky's falling. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, we're supposed to be the victorious, conquering church. Come on. Psalm 100, verses 1 and 2 make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Uh oh. Come on. Let me say it again. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Amen. Come on, there's some lands in here. Come on. Come on. Holler. Holler for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Make a joyful noise. So, oh. Mm. Can I pass over this one? Serve the Lord with gladness. Come, Come before on. His presence with singing. When I told you earlier that that girl got saved... Y'all should have been running the aisles. Come on. I tell you, the angels in heaven were rejoicing over. The Bible says it that when one sinner repented, they made to God, they rejoice. Come on. We need to be rejoicing tonight. That girl oh, praised God. If God only used this situation that he's going, Brother Rand's going through for his niece to get saved. Oh. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hey, a man. soul that was lost is now found. <laughs> Glory be to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. When praise God all that to happen to me five years ago, that doctor who was an atheist gave her life to Jesus on the last day that I was fixing to go home. And if oh. I went through all that just for that one reason, hallelujah to the Lamb of God oh. that a soul got hallelujah. saved. Hallelujah. He left the 99 righteous and went after that one little lost lamb. You and I were that lost oh. lamb. And hallelujah. God came after us. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh, really? You ought to get excited about that. Amen. Praise God. He came looking for me and you and all of us. Go over to your name, oh. Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we don't get excited when sinners get saved anymore. It's just, okay. Amen. That should bother us, amen. That amen. should really bother us. Yeah. I mean, individually, not as a church, but individually, it should bother you if you don't get excited when you hear of somebody getting born again who was on their way to hell. Because oh. hell is still real, church. Yeah. There's waiting lines for hell, amen to God, because they deceived. Yeah. They're just waiting. They're living it up here, but when they leave this life, think about it right now. I heard a statistic the other day on the radio that 152,000 people die daily. Out of those 152,000, how many do you think were believers? Yeah. What if only one was a believer and you had 151,999 going to hell? Come on. Would that bother you? We need to wait on Jesus. Amen? Amen. I'm almost done. I'm going to give you these few other things. To wait upon the Lord means to be patient with the Lord. Woo. Can I say that again? Go ahead. We need to be patient with the Lord. Amen. He still answers <coughs> prayer. Yeah. When you pray, He answers it. If you pray according to the Word, He answers it. Come on. How can I know if I'm in the will of God if your life is lined up with the Word? Yeah. Pray His Word. You want to know God's will? You want to live in His will? Do the Word. Come on. But sometimes we don't get the answer right then and there. In the, in the, in the, in the natural. Yeah. I remember Daniel said when he prayed, God heard him and answered it, but there was a warfare in the spiritual. Amen. For what did it say? 21 days? They were battling in the heavenlies Come on. over God sending the answer to Daniel. Amen. See, it don't mean God ain't answering your prayers. It just means sometimes there's a battle and you've got to wait. Come on. And God wants to see if you're going to wait on Him. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
We've got to be patient with the Lord. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35 and 36 says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. God, give us patience tonight to wait on Your Word. To wait upon Your promise that You told us You'll give us. Lord God, help us to wait on You. Because You promised if we waited on You, You would renew our strength, Lord. Uh, We're all going through different battles in here tonight, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, just help us, Lord. Help us be patient with You. Oh, Lord, I pray over everybody under the sound of my voice here tonight, Lord. Help us all to be patient. Help us to wait. Lord, to have that wait problem and just wait on You. To be still and know that You indeed are God and that You will perform what You promised You said You would. Those watching out there by YouTube or listening by VOTO radio or listening by a CD or whatever, help them too, Lord, to have patience to wait on You. Help us, Lord, to just put aside any preconceived ideas, Lord. And wait for You to be still in Your presence, Lord. And to let You love us. You said, cast all Your care upon You, for You care for us. We love You, Lord. Thank You for loving us. Thank You for being patient with us, Lord. Lord, when we don't get our way, Lord, we throw fits. Forgive us. Thank You for still loving us. Thank You for taking the time to show us, Lord God, when we don't know. Lord, when we mess up and make mistakes, Lord, You still take the time to show us when we fail. But you don't do it in a condemning way. You love us, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you just for all the small things that we don't even thank you for daily. The drink of water that people in, in Africa would, would die for right now, we take for granted. Thank you, Lord, for the air conditioning, Lord, that we have when we're hot. And for those, Lord, without air conditioning, Lord, that would give anything just to have a second of what we have. Thank you still for being so patient with us, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for not giving up on us, not casting us down, not putting us in the very bottoms of hell, Lord. But you see so much in us, Lord. You see winners and not losers. Hallelujah. You said we are the head and not the tail, Lord. Hallelujah. You said we're going over and not under, Lord. We're blessed. We're king's kids, Lord. Keep us humble, Lord. Teach us, Lord, to wait on You and to be patient. Hallelujah. Everybody stand to your feet with me, please, if you don't mind. I feel in my spirit to do this. And I won't be obedient to the Lord. And just keep that tape, brother, if you don't mind. If you're here tonight, and I want to say this before we do it, if you step out and come up, it does not mean you're a wretched sinner going to hell or that you've done something wrong. It just means you can't do it on your own anymore. And you need the help of your church family. And you need Jesus to help you. If you're going through something tonight, and I'll be the first to tell you, I need more. I need more. I need. I earnest and covet your prayers for me. For me physically, for me spiritually. Yeah. Physically, I get worn down. Physically, I have times to where I just don't want to get up. But I need y'all's prayers. I need to be more patient and wait on the Lord. If you're like that, or you need prayer tonight, 
maybe you say, Brother Mike, I can't do, I'm going through something, I don't, I don't want, really want to share it with everybody, but can you just stand in the gap with me? Yeah. Come on. Amen. Don't be afraid. Amen. There's no condemnation here, my Lord in heaven. We all were sinners, but we Come were on. saved by grace. Amen. Yeah. Nobody, there is nobody any better than anybody in this place. We are all equal in the eyes of God. God Amen. is no respecter of persons. He loves you just as much as He loves me. Just like He Love. loves the person three streets over in the house who may be smoking crack. Love. He loves them just as much as He loves us. Yeah. I want my heart tonight, hallelujah, to break for those who are hurting. I want your hearts tonight to be the same way, hallelujah. Because we don't know what everybody's going through. There's people in this very town right now, hallelujah, they're behind closed doors and they're hurting so bad. But they can't tell nobody because they're afraid they'll be condemned or judged. But Jesus loves it too and I want the heart of God. Lord, my prayer tonight is break my heart with what breaks yours, hallelujah. He indeed is a friend of sinners, amen. It's like he's afraid oh, of us. Break our hearts, Lord, with what breaks oh, yours. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, Jesus. He shall not have my time. Hallelujah. If you need prayer, come down tonight. The waters are troubled. The Lord tonight wants to touch you. I believe you can leave here tonight set free from any problems you have. Hallelujah. I want you all to pray for me, amen to God. Pray for me on the highways. I have to do a lot of driving in my job. And I, have, I get up every morning, Brother Billy, and I tell the Lord, I say, Lord, cover me with the blood. Amen. Keep any crazed driver, any devil, hallelujah, that would send somebody to hurt me, run me over. Some guy drinking, Lord, keep him away from me. Keep me safe, Lord God. Keep me, Lord, keep me everywhere I walk into. Lord, don't let no gunman come in to shoot me. Lord God, every time I go to get back in the car, please keep me safe, Lord. I want y'all to pray for me, amen to God. I want y'all to come down and pray for me, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh in the name of Jesus. Lord, Jesus, Jesus, yes, Lord God. Lord, a hedge of protection, Lord. Yes, right Jesus. Here, right his family, Lord. Jesus. Oh, God. We he love his mind, his soul, soul his body, his spirit. Yes, Lord. Lord, surround him with your hands. He love love Jesus. Jesus. Love Rebuke the devourer. Oh, my son. He love 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 Rebuke the devourer tonight, Lord. Yes, Move Jesus. the morning with your power in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. I won't stay